This lesson covers the Common Core Standard sections 3.NF2A and B. In this section, we will see how to represent a fraction on a number line. Just to recap a bit, in the previous videos, we saw what is a fraction. We took an example of dividing a pizza or a cake into four equal parts so that each of, our friend, each of our friends got uh, to enjoy the pizza. Since we had one pizza and we divided it into four equal parts, each part was one by fourth of the whole. One by four is a fraction. Next, we saw that we could divide a circle or a rectangle into an arbitrary number of equal parts. For example, we can see here a circle divided into eight parts, three of which are colored. Therefore, the circle represents the fraction three by eight. Similarly, two parts of the six in the rectangle are colored blue. Therefore, the rectangle represents the fraction two by six. In this lesson, we will see how we can represent a fraction on a number line. Our goal is to represent one by three on the number line. As you will see in later videos, the number line can also be used to represent complex fractions. But I am jumping ahead of the gun here. Representing a fraction on a number line is similar to how we represent a fraction using a circle or a rectangle. We simply divide the portion between 0 and 1 into the required number of parts. In the current exercise, we are told to represent the fraction 1 by 3 on the number line. So we divide the segment between 0 and 1 into 3 equal parts. This is just like dividing the pizza into 3 equal parts. And each part is 1 by 3rd of the whole. Therefore, each small segment that we have cut between 0 and 1 represents the fraction 1 by 3. Just like we had with circles and squares, the second cut would represent the fraction 2 by 3 because it includes two divisions out of 3. The next division is 3 by 3 and this is also the same as the number 1 on the number line. This makes sense. Consider the situation where you cut the pizza into 3 parts and ate all the 3 parts. That would mean that you ate the whole pizza. Therefore, 3 by 3 is the same as the number 1. Let us take another example. This time we have divided the segment between 0 and 1 into 7 equal parts. Therefore, each part represents the fraction 1 by 7. The first cut would represent the fraction 1 by 7, the next cut would represent the fraction 2 by 7, and so on until 7 by 7, which once again is the number 1. Another interesting observation here is that 0 is 0 by 7 is nothing but the number 0. Once again, this is logical. This is the same as if we had a pizza and we divided it into 7 equal parts, but we did not eat any, any slice at all. So in effect, we did not eat any pizza, which is 0 by 7. This brings us to the end of this presentation, where we looked at how to represent fractions on the number line. As you will see in later lessons, the number line is very useful in understanding complex fractions. This video covered sections 3.NF2A and 3.NF2B of the Common Core Standard. We would suggest that you use the, the fractions workbook to practice representing fractions on the number line. This is an Android application and is available on Amazon and Google Play. The application will run on any Android cell phone or tablet. So head on down to your respective Play Store and download the application.